Hey y'all. You probably ask yourself, what the hell is this camera angle? Because I'm seated in a way that's quite odd. Now the reason why I'm seated this way is because there was no other way that I could present to you the thing that we're going to be taking a look at today. And I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this Barbie Extra 5-pack exclusive doll that's been released this year. This is the Barbie Extra Series 2 5-pack, including 4 regular releases, as well as one exclusive doll, that you can only get when you purchase this 5-pack. Now, don't worry, I'm going to be flipping the camera around and showing you all the details in a moment, but I wanted to talk a bit about this release and why I was really excited about this exclusive doll because I feel like the look that she's got going on is very Y2K era Ganguro. It's very Raver Girl. It's very much giving me Monster High Abby Abominable, but it's also giving me Curly and the Army of Love video. So that's why I was super excited to get her, to get my grubby hands on her, to take a look at her. And I'm also going to be restyling her and I'm going to be making her a whole new outfit. So check it out. Now before I start with everything, a disclaimer. I'm not going to be taking a look at all of the dolls. I'm solely going to be taking a look at her. So this unboxing experience is going to be focused on the exclusive doll because all of the other dolls you already know. And when I bought this 5-pack, I bought this 5-pack mainly for her. But I also don't have this extra doll, so she's going to be an added bonus. The other three I already have, so I'm going to be selling them or donating them or gifting them to somebody who wants them. But yeah, she was the reason why I bought this 5-pack. Even though looking at this Millie here, I have to say she's... Um, less busted looking than the one that I have and the one that I own so maybe I'm gonna be switching the one that I own out for her this Millie is also like the only close mouth play line Millie that I know that does not have extreme pixelation or this um, shiny face so yeah it's a shame that her hair is in such a um, bad state and isn't very much high quality because her face is immaculate. Quickly looking at the one that I'm going to keep as well. She looks like she's a little wonky. This eye looks a bit um, like it was misprinted. But it's also very cute in a side glance, cross-eyed kind of way. So yeah, had I seen her um, on her own on a shelf in a toy store might have looked for a different one but since she comes with this five pack I'm gonna be keeping her. Now let's focus on the main attraction. She is presented in a way that's kind of um, making a bit more special. You see all of these silver shiny snowflakes printed around her. There's this very cute illustration of her and her pet and her accessories super adorable she also has this snowflake shaped um, sticker thingy that all of the extras always come with inside of the snowflake shape there were um, silver shiny stars but there seemed to have been some kind of rip in the packaging because um, the stars are now all over my apartment floor and not inside of this snow sticker anymore. On the side of the packaging, you can see the pet displayed here. And on the other side, there's another closer look at the illustration of the Barbie Extra Exclusive doll. Mm. 
Now the back shows off all of the promo images that we already know. Kind of cute that these two are put together when they were the reason why I bought this pack because I had neither of them. And you can also see a closer look at all of the dots and the stuff they come with. And she is of course, she's of course the queen who I bought the set for. So I'm going to be taking her out and we'll be taking a look at all of the stuff that the doll comes with as well as the doll herself. So here we have the doll as she's freed from her box. And yeah, um, the hair quality is sadly not the best. It is um, stiff and crunchy polypropylene hair. That's something that I can say right away. She's got some tinsel woven into her hairline, which is cute. I do like the shiny transparent rubber bands with some glitter in them that secure her two pigtails in the front. She's got a mid part and um, her scalp has been painted black which I did not expect, but maybe they're going for a... Uh, she's forgot to dye her roots and the roots are growing out kind of look with her. She comes with this cute baby blue plastic hat. It's sort of like a cap from the front, but in the back it looks like a visor. And she, of course, also comes with an extra pet. And the pet has a bathtub that it comes with. And the feet of the bathtub are shaped like their animal feet. And the silver, the bathtub itself is in a transparent pink color. And the pet comes with these cucumber sunglasses. The pet's eyes are closed and the head seems to be able to turn but it feels like it's a bit stiff so I don't want to break its neck. That's why I'm going to be keeping it the way it is. Now I'm going to be undressing the doll to see what kind of layers her outfit has. Now these are all of the layers of clothing and accessories the doll comes with. She also has this bracelet that I was not really able to detach from her wrist because it sits quite tight and I did not want to break her wrist. And she of course has a pair of silver hoop earrings, but these don't come out unless you were to heat up her head so it would get squishy and you can then pull them out. She comes with a pair of white tights. She comes with a pair of blue and teal colored fuzzy leg warmers that also have some tinsel woven into them. She has a teal colored polka dot two piece blouse and skirt. This one is shoulderless and has two elastic straps to them. It's made of this crunchy papery material. And there's some stitching detail woven onto the bust. And the front of the skirt She comes with a pair of high-heeled, open-toed, white platform boots. It seem to look like snow boots with some lace. Sadly, there's no added painted detail. She comes with this white glittery fanny pack that has a teal colored diamond painted on it. 
She has a silver bracelet and a white watch. She comes with these skiing sunglasses. As well as this silver necklace. The doll also comes with this ice crystal shaped handbag made from the same white glittery plastic material that the fanny pack used. The doll herself uses the Dia face mold. It's the same face mold that we have already seen be used on Barbie Extra number 5 who had these multicolored pigtails. Now I personally like the screening of Barbie Extra number 5 a lot better. This one has some cute white liner around her eyes. But this one's eyes are more striking looking and I love her little beauty mark above her lip. So while putting on the outfit I noticed that both of the leg warmers have a slit at the top so you know which way you have to put them onto the door. Actually the slit part is meant to be the bottom of the leg warmers so they would then go over the shoe she's wearing. But while I was fiddling around I noticed that the sole of the shoes have the iconic Barbie B. So before I move on and try to restyle her, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be able to do with her hair. Like I said, it's crunchy, stiff, polypropylene hair. I wanted to give you my thoughts. So now we can talk about whether or not she's actually worth the price of admission. To be rational, Hell no, she's not worth it. Of course she isn't. I mean, just look at the hair and the quality. Yes, but we collectors, we do not think rationally. And I think she's quite cute. I'm happy with her. I'm happy to have her as part of my growing Barbie extra collection. I think the design on her is very adorable. And yeah, she's giving me fierce, abominable snowman. That's what I was looking for. And that's what I got. So I'll quickly just show you a montage of how I styled the extra dots hair. I was too lazy to get some liquid detergent from my kitchen, that's why I used some hand soap. I know you should not use conditioner on plastic hair. It's actually quite ludicrous to do so, but I always do it because it makes brushing so much easier. That's why I use conditioner even on polypropylene. The hairstyle that I went for is the classic Bratz Forever Diamonds updo, or a ponytail rather, where you take two strands of hair from the front that's why I also boy washed the two strands in the front in the way that I did because it meant that they would lay flat in front of her face. The way I'm boy washing the doll is because I want a certain hairstyle to be able to do that and to pull it off. That's why I brushed the hair into her, the front of her face. Brushing out her hair also meant that I brushed out a lot of tinsel. There was still enough tinsel in her hair left that would make her hair look very sparkly. I used this scrunchie to wrap it around her 
ponytail to hide the elastic band, but also to hide some of the black scalp that shines through her platinum hair. I'm using this head scarf to um, sew out a corduroy two-piece outfit for the Barbie Extra doll. I think I need to stop using head scarves that I get from the dollar store to sew stuff out of. I think I need to go to an actual fabric store. So a short progress update as I was sewing. I did not want to um, film the sewing process because it's always a hassle and I don't think it's super interesting for you guys to see me um, sit in front of a sewing machine and sew away. So I'm at this stage where I made this pencil skirt for her out of this beige, cream, pink colored corduroy material. And I was also thinking about making a shoulderless top. So I'm quickly going to be stitching this together. And then we are finished with the look and can move on to putting a few accessories on her to make her look less nude. And then we can move on to the final verdict for this video. So, there you go. This is the finished ensemble. Now, the things that I kept from her original look were her shoes, her tights, this fanny pack, her watch, her bracelet, her necklace, and her earrings. Now, everything else I've just cobbled together myself. I've sewn that skirt, I've sewn this top. And I added this headband scrunchie for her to finish off this um, nude corduroy two-piece kind of look that she's got going on. If you ask me, it turned out super cute. I'm very happy with the finished result. I think she's looking very classy. And I added the fanny pack to... Um, make her look less festive and a bit more streetwear. I think this look is very cute. I do like her original look as well, but yeah, I think I'm going to be displaying her as such. So yeah, there you have it. This is the look that I ended up creating myself. I've sewn everything, I styled her hair, I added some accessories and I'm quite happy with this look. I hope you enjoyed watching me unbox, review and talk about this Barbie Extra Series 2 5 pack exclusive. I hope you also enjoyed watching me craft a few things um, all by myself. Currently I'm kind of like obsessed over restyling and um, creating new looks for Barbie extras as you can see there. And um, they're currently my favorite doll line to reimagine their style. They're just very cool in a way that um, does not really come out with their original look. So to be able to give them a new one is always very cool. If you did like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. I'm uploading videos related to fashion dolls, past, present and future every week. And I might catch you in my next video. Bye for now. Mwah.